In this question, we're given a series of bit error rate curves for different digital modulation formats, where the horizontal axis is the signal-to-noise ratio, and the vertical axis is the bit error rate, or the likelihood of error. So as we go down this axis, we have um, lower or smaller bit error rate. So that basically is better. So that's better performance in noise, i.e. fewer errors. So the question is, compare ASK, amplitude shift keying, to binary PSK. So what we're doing is we're comparing this blue curve with the green curve. And we're seeing how much higher bit error rate will you need for ASK compared to PSK for a bit error rate of 10 to the minus 4. So that's your bit error rate of 10 to the minus 4. So we're looking horizontally here. And we're comparing this point here on PSK to that point there for ASK. So we're, the question is actually asking us to find this difference here. So we can read that off here. Yeah, so this is something between 8 and 9. And here you have something between 12 and 13. So the um, improvement will be something like, let's say, 12 point, um, it's less than 5. Let's say 12.3 minus 8.3, which is approximately 4 decibels. So that's how much the um, signal-to-noise ratio for um, ASK needs to improve. So the question is, how much higher SNR is required for ASK to have the same performance as BPSK? So clearly, here, BPSK is performing better. than ASK. Why is it performing better? Well, if you take any two points for the same signal-to-noise ratio, we have a lower bit error rate for BPSK. But for a given bit error rate of 1 in 10,000, or 10 to the minus 4, ASK would have to be four decibels higher than PSK to achieve the same bit error rate. So you can, you can think of it as ASK being requiring greater power or being more wasteful of power compared to BPSK, i.e. we need a greater signal power or a lower noise power in order to achieve the same bit error rate performance. So your final answer would be 4 decibels.